And so I'm just going to organize my screen. Okay, guys, the way, uh, the way it works is you always move at the fastest speed first, but right now where we're all going the same speed, it doesn't really matter right now. We're all so far apart. So I'll get everyone to, like, I'll, I'll just go first just so everyone can get, get the hang of it. So each turn is a second, and we just went into phase one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stay, oh, sorry, you can only accelerate once per turn. Or decelerate once per turn. You can't do both. Just that's very key. But I'm just going to stay this speed, and I am going to move forward on my first phase one inch. So I'll get land to go next. I'll get Daniel to go next. And Eric, I'll get you to go. All right, done. Now, you only moved a half an inch there for some reason, I think. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. No, you're right. You're good. Sorry, my mistake. <clears throat> so phase two, I'm going to speed up 15 kilometers or 15 miles per hour. So game chart, speed chart. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in my new speed, which is going to be 65, because I can speed up 15 miles per hour. Is anyone else uh, like to speed up? This is when you declare it if you wanted to. Sure. All right. Metal to metal. You're here. So everyone declares before anything is done, right? Everyone gets to say this is what we're doing. Yeah, I want to drop to 40. Okay, so you can just lower yourself down to 40. And what about you, Daniel? Uh, I'll, I'll move up 65 as well. Okay. So we go with the highest speed first. So where we're going uh, in phase two, everyone moves. Everyone going 65 moves one inch. So we'll get everyone going 65 just to move forward or do a maneuver. Just did. And once all of us are done, I'm going to get Lan to move his one inch. Okay, so we're all done that way. Okay, so he's turning. <gasps> You're coming after me. That's a very aggressive land right off the bat. I don't like it. That's an act of war. <laughs> it just got personal. So that was a D3, right? So you're at zero. <clears throat> you only got to go down. If you go down 10 miles per hour, it's not a, it's not a hazard to you, land. Just to let you know. Is there anything yeah, that's more? why I only went. Okay. All right. So I got you good there. All right. So we're all good that way. <clears throat> Phase three, everyone going 65, gets to move an inch and a half. Uh, to move a half inch, it is your, just your regular up arrow on your keypad. You can't do any maneuvers 
you can do your half inch first or you can move your full inch first is up to you but you can't do any maneuver on that half inch turn half inch phase all right well i know how to move forward with eight on the d-pad or a numpad but uh yep, what about the half inch how do i do that one it's just your up arrow on your on your cursor your cursor arrow so I'm just gonna move ahead straight. Oh, okay, gotcha. And that's the same for everyone's moving straight, okay. Uh Lan, you get to move your inch, no? Okay, so you're trying to draw a line of sight on me, but it's going through the building. So unless you can tag it so it doesn't go through there. I don't know why you're coming after me. I'm just going for a drive. Trying to be friendly. Okay, so I'm... On phase four, everyone moves except for land now. Moves one Full inch. inch. Full inch, yep. Whenever you're moving a, a uneven speed, you at, you at one point you move a half inch, right? Okay. Maybe this should be a, a national game, Canadians versus Americans. <laughs> I don't know, Eric. You're living in the States now, so that would still put you against me. <laughs> yeah, that gives me the option of switching sides. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, the way shooting works too is once everyone's done their movement before you go on to the next phase, you get to declare if you want to shoot or not. So you keep, you know, so once everyone's done moving, then you say, okay, I'm going to try and shoot. And now you do the line of sight thing. Oh, uh, if there's a button up in the top called LOS, you click on that, and then you can drag anywhere on the map. And it brings up a line. Like I'll just bring it up right in front of your Eric, right in front of your vehicle there, uh, Eric. You should see the line there now. Yeah, I see it. I clicked on LOS. I just can't figure it out. Yeah. So right, right now, I'll, I'll deselect it. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> now, if you click LOS and just click and drag and let go of your mouse, it'll show up. And once it's there the first time, you can drag it anywhere you need to then, and you'll always oh, see it. Okay, got it. So we'll go to turn five, and this is where everyone moves one more inch again. All right, got it. So Dan, you move to right. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, I, I only meant to move one. I moved two spaces. Sure. Looks like you're trailing behind there. Uh, yeah, no, you Dan. should be up one more inch there. Uh. All right. There we go. That's what you get from riding a trike. <laughs> I don't know if I'm you moved your half inch. getting away from me. So, so during the so there's five phases in a turn. Is that the just? That's right. Yep. All right. So, so at the, at the at the beginning, you 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 
determine whether you're going to accelerate or decelerate? No, you can accelerate any or decelerate any time during your turn, but so it, it's only it's only that one time during the turn. That's right. Yep. Okay. And as far as as maneuvering, can you maneuver at any one of the five phases? You can maneuver once any time during the five phases. Okay. Uh, but per you, phase. You only get a chance to accelerate or decelerate one time per turn. That's right. So while a lot of people do is say if they want to move up really fast, on phase five they'll accelerate, and then on phase one of the next turn they accelerate again, so you get your big boost, kind of. Some people do that. So, Dan, I think you need to move up one more inch to be in line with Eric. There you go. And we'll get Land to move his inch now. Okay. So, <clears throat> turn two. Uh, I am going to, I'll declare again, and I'm now my turbo is kicked in, so I'm going to speed up uh, 20 miles per hour. So I'm going from 65 to 85. Oh, just to let everyone know, on the map, you'll see the dirt mounds. So we'll, the dirt is there, but any of all, all the other stuff, like the little bits of debris and the little like gray marks, you can ignore that stuff. Just pretend it's not there for now. So on where we're going, eighty. Whoever's going eighty-five, who's speeding up? Is anyone else speeding up? Not yet. No, I like that speed. I don't like to uh, go over the speed limit. Okay, so where everyone's now going sixty-five, and I'm going eighty-five, I'll move first. But at speed sixty-five, once you get over fifty, you start moving. You you'll start moving more phases, more inches per phase. So everyone again who's going 60 or higher moves an, an additional inch. And then it'd be one inch for everyone else after that. So we'll get uh, Eric and Daniel to move their additional inch. Lan, you've just moved your inch, right? Have you moved already? I've just moved one inch. I forgot to tell you. Did I? I think. Don't think I hit my key. I'm at 55, by the way. Oh, okay. So if you're at 55, you move an additional half inch this phase. Got it. All right. Too many key. I'm not used to the push to talk thing. Oh, it's no problem. So, uh, Daniel, I see you've done like a little bit of a bend. Yeah. Okay. So you moved ahead one inch and did a, a D1 bend to your right. I believe so. Okay. So I'll move your handling class down by one. Yeah, whenever it's my turn, I want to do a D1 to the right as well. Okay, it's your... Okay, you go ahead now and do your D1 to your right. Okay, sorry. Move your... You got to move your vehicle ahead of an inch first. So I'm going to clone you just so I can keep track. Make it easy. Yeah, what's the command for the clone again? Control C. And I'll move your keypad there for you. The turnkey next to your vehicle. So you can use your Control A and Control S and just line up the corners of your vehicle to each other, and that'll be your D1. All right, how about that? Perfect. Uh. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> so phase two, uh, everyone moving 85, which is me, moves an inch and a half, and everyone moving 60 moves one inch, everyone moving 55 moves one inch. So I move an inch and a half and everyone else moves one inch. Okay. So, Lam, whenever you're ready, you can move. Or did you do it already? I moved, I moved my inch. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and I'll let someone else know a, little, a rule. When you first start shooting at people, there's a two-hit number. And depending on what part you're shooting or how many, you know, or the size of the vehicle, there's all these modifications. But once you shoot at someone, the second time you shoot at them at the next consecutive turn, you get like an additional plus one to hit. And it's like tracing fire. And then if you shoot a third time and thereafter, it's always plus two. So the longer you're shooting at someone, the more accuracy you'll get over time because you're training in your fire. But I'm not shooting. I'm not doing anything. Uh, phase three. So everyone moving... Uh, 85, that's me, moves two inches. So I'll move one inch and I'll get everyone else to move an inch. And then I'll move my additional inch. And if you maneuvered that time, that maneuver subtracts from your target. Then that's right. It makes it harder. Remember that. So I am going to move ahead one inch. 65. So, Land, just to let you know, that big block, black box, is a building. Don't want to stare into it. Yeah, no, I went the wrong way. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. You know what we forgot to do, Land? Is readjust your handling class after you moved back up at the end of the turn. I'll put you back up there. Can you maneuver on each phase? Yes. Yep. But only once per phase some inches you may move three or four inches a phase when you get up that fast but you can only maneuver on one of those inches oh so there you go so only once per turn but you can pick any phase but only once per turn for maneuvers oh you can maneuver any any phase, phase. yeah any time but what I'm saying oh, is, okay. in some in some phases, like you may move two or three inches. You can only do one. You can't do like three D bends in one phase. You can only do one. You know what I mean? In each phase, you can only maneuver one. That's right. Yeah. So Daniel, uh. You have to move your inch. So I'm going to do it at D1, and then I'm going to move. I can do that. Well, okay, yep, but you got to... What you got to do... Hold on, no, I'll drag this. There you go. And what was the? Well, drift? you can. Do I drift that over? No, you can just drag it over and line up the oh, corners okay. manually. There you go. So your handling class went down by one. Again, so everyone's good there. Okay, so I'm going 85, which means I get to move one more inch. 
uh, Daniel and Eric move half an inch, and Lamb moves. Well, he's already moved, so you're good. This phase, and I'm going to do a D two bend, which turns out to be a D three because I'm on gravel. So when you're done with your move, just let me know, and that way it's easier for me to track. Yeah, I didn't mind. I'm done. Okay. Phase four. I get to move two inches this phase. Okay, so on phase four. Oh, sorry, I moved one inch. Sorry, my mistake. Everybody moves one inch. So I'll go first, and then we'll get Eric and Daniel to move, and then we'll get Lane to move. So Eric, you moved, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Lane. <clears throat> I'm all set over here. Okay. So Daniel, you did a D2 bend there, right? I did. Okay, so I'll lower you down to zero. And it was awesome. <laughs> I don't know why you're avoiding the dirt. You're like driving away from the action. Okay, so every, everyone's done their moves for this phase. So this is where people get to declare their actions. <clears throat> I'm going to try to take a shot at Eric. Is anyone else going to try to declare and shoot? Yeah, I want to shoot you too. Okay. You just <laughs> offered your side to me. But I'm going fast, and it's all speeds. Now, I'll tell you what, the uh, this is the advantage of knowing the rules a little bit better than other people. But that's fine. That's all good. So the way it works, everyone declares, everybody rolls, and then it's all worked out simultaneously. So it's not like if you shoot before someone else, you can damage them type of thing. So let me work it out for me shooting at you. So it's from where we got turrets is measured from the center of the vehicle. Okay, Eric, this is the way it works. <clears throat> uh, a basic machine gun is to hit on a seven or higher. Okay, so you, the higher the roll, the better. So I'm just over... Um, for me, the the range modifier is negative one, so I'm up to. I need to roll a eight or higher. I'm firing at the front of a compact, which makes it even harder to hit. So I'm up to an eleven or higher. It's getting hard. And And you're moving 65. Yeah, so, in a straight line. So that brings it up to a negative one. So my modifier alone is uh, I got to roll a 12 or more on two dice. 2d6? Two 2d6. Two I got to get a 12. I got to get boxcars. So I got a five. Never hit you. So I'm going to scratch off a, a shot. <clears throat> so
So now you're shooting at me, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. That's my target number. Okay, so it's seven to hit me, basically. Uh, eight because of the range. Uh, Firer is in the target side arc. So I'm going 85. <clears throat> okay. S basic Base seven to hit. Range makes it eight. Side of a compact makes it minus uh, uh, a nine. And because of the speed and where I'm going across you, it makes it minus six. So it's more than a 12, which means you can't hit it. But you can fire, if you can keep firing anyway, and the next round you'll get a plus. Okay. Uh, what uh, about ramming you instead? Well, if you can, li if you can line it up and hit me, and you ram me, most likely you will kill both of us. But it, I kill nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we do have bumper sticks. You do. Yep. Uh, well, I'll, yeah, I'll just shoot and uh, keep lowering it. Okay. So you just mark off a shot uh, on your game info on your, your tab, private tab. I just use X's next to, to where it says, like, uh, ammo, 20. That's what I do. See, where we're going really fast, it uh, it makes it hard to hit. Alright, and then do I get to move also? Well, you've already moved. This is... Alright. Right? So, is anyone else going to try and shoot or do anything? I am going to accelerate. Phase. Oh, okay. That'll be on the next phase. <clears throat> so, who, who was that? That was you, was it, Dan? Yes. Okay, so mark yourself up to... Um, you can use your turbo because you accelerate it last round. So you can go up to 85 as well now, if you wanted to. Are we at the end of five, phase five? No, we just started it. Just started turn phase five. So if you want to speed up or, or slow down here, you can do it in this phase. Well, I already did my acceleration this turn. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, so back to movements. So I get to move two inches. Everyone else will get to move one inch. So I'll move my one inch first. And then everyone else will move, and then I'll move my last inch. So I'm done my move. You're going 85, so that's a minus 6, right? That's right, where I'm in your side arc, yeah. Or you're in my side arc, yep. Actually, hold on. Let me bring up your fire arc. Just turn off your line of sight. I can't take control of it when you have it. So if you double-click on your screen, and I'll see if I can give you the best shot. You know something? See that? Your side yep. arc is in my side arc, which means you get, there's no speed modifier. Oh, cool. All right, then that's only a minus two for range. Minus two from range, and yeah, that's it, because you never, you just went straight, right? Uh, this time, that is correct. Oh, but I get to move my one more inch yet, so you might want to hold on. Because I only moved my one inch so far. 
Well, if you do that, then won't that put me put you in my front arc? It will, yep. So I can't choose to shoot before you move this turn. No, yeah, all the movements are done first before the shooting is done. That's one that changes from the older rules. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just going straight anyway. Well, Eric, did you move your inch yet? No, you haven't. Phase five, yeah. I oh, he did. Okay. I'm. I'm going to uh, attempt. I can. Can I do a D two? You can do a D two. So, so um, it's still side art, barely, but it still is. Oh, I haven't moved yet. I moved myself back that half inch there, or that full inch. Quit teasing me. Oh, sorry. I'll just go. I'll just. I'll move it ahead forward there now, just so it's done. Okay, Dan. So you did a D2 bend. So that brings your handling class down to a negative 2. And when you're on gravel, it makes it an additional negative uh, a little bit harder. So you're at minus 3. Okay? All right. So we may have to see what happens to you. So <laughs> you're going 65. 85. Sorry, 85. Oh, wow. Okay, you're going 85. And you're now at minus two, or sorry, minus three. So you have to roll one dice and roll a three or higher, and you're safe. Nothing happens to you. So you're good. And Eric is about to do his maneuver. Yeah, I'll do a D2 as well, which turns into D3 because I'm in uh, the dirt, right? That's right. So that will bring you down to negative, negative 2. So I got to check for you. Negative 2 going 65 means you have to roll one dice and get a 2 or higher, and you're safe. on a d6. So you're good. Okay, so we're all done our maneuvers. Uh, Lan, are you going to try and shoot me? Oh, I got to move my inch. No, I'm done. You already moved yours. That's right. And you just moved yours, right? And I'm just barely still in the side arc. Yep. So it is a minus well, it's seven to hit side of a compact brings it up to an 8 and your range is 2 so 10 or more you broke up 11, uh, 10 or more 10 or more yep miss alright uh, Eric already did his shot uh, Daniel you're not going to try shooting anyone all the way over there are you nope is your plan just to drive around while everyone else kills each other? Because uh, that, that uh, is not my plan. Although <laughs> that would be a good plan. Never underestimate Daniel. He's just <laughs> going to come up behind someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so phase. Th this is turn three. So everyone's handling class goes back to uh, whatever their handling class is. So if you have a handling class of three, your handling class improves by three so it goes back up by three so mine goes back to zero uh, back to three uh daniel goes up to zero and eric goes up to one let's see i thought mine was three yeah your handling class was three but then you did your d3 bend then Oh, okay. I thought you just said it goes... It, it goes, goes back, back up whatever your handling class was, or what it is, the value of it. It climbs back up, so... It, let's just say, for example, you went right down to the negative 6. Your handling class improves by 3 every turn until it gets back to zero, back to its normal level again. Oh, okay. Okay. 
That means you're getting more and more out of control as you maneuver. <clears throat> okay, so I am going to not, I'm not speeding up. I'm staying the same speed. Is anyone else speeding I, up or slowing down? I am accelerating. Okay. I want to slow down as well. <clears throat> okay, uh, so Daniel, you get to move up again by 20. Eric, you get to move up to a maximum of 15 if you want. And uh, Lan, you get to go up by 15 if you want. All right, so I'm now at E. <sighs> Actually, I get to go up by 20 because I accelerated 15 last. That's right, you did. So I'm now at uh, 75. 75, yep. Okay, so because Daniel is now going insanely 105 miles per hour, you get to go first. <laughs> uh, I am just going to move. Okay. Th this turn, you can move, you're going to move a maximum of two and a half inches. Because you're so far away right now from everyone, I'll get you to do your entire move. So there you go. Daniel's gunning for the wall. <laughs> he just <laughs> ran right into the wall at 100 miles per hour. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, There's this rule called confetti rules. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the car just shatters. Okay, so I'm next to move. So I'm going to move one inch. And I'm going to do a D1 drift away from Eric which makes it a minus two for me. So that's my first inch moved. Uh, Eric, you get to move one inch. Okay, Lan, you get to move one inch. Oh, sorry, Eric, are you going to do your maneuver this phase? Uh, this, this part before you do your next one? No, I'm just going to keep a straight right now. Okay. So, Lan, I'll get you to move your one inch. Okay. Uh, so, again, it's my speed first. Uh, man, I don't like this. I am going to do a... I'm gonna do another D. Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. I'm gonna. No, do... oh, I already did my maneuver. I can't. I can't do. It. I gotta go straight. I'm forced to go straight. Right into that building. It's gonna suck for me. So I'll go straight. <clears throat> okay, Eric, you get to make your inch move now. All right. There we go. And Lan, you get to do your inch move. You must be sizing up, are you, Len? I don't hear you if you're, if you're talking. Mean. So, Len, you, yeah, so move your inch. I moved for the second phase. Oh, did you? Already? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm quick. <clears throat> All right, so firing phases. Is anyone going to fire this phase? I will be firing yes. this phase. I'll 
fire at Splendid Erectus. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. All right, so I'll work mine out first. So Eric, I'm going to take the impossible... Sh Actually, I, I can't fire because you're well over... No, I'm going to shoot you anyway. Shoot, shag it. I'm not going to be able to hit you because the speed arcs. So I'm a, an automatic miss anyway. So I'll scratch off a shot. Undone. I mean, you, you dead angle. You, you're going to have a lot better shot at me now. So for you, shooting at me... Now, you can shoot at tires too, but it's obviously harder to shoot a tire because they're smaller and all that stuff. So, uh, Line of sight for you, to me. Did I do that right? Yep. Well, you, you, you measure right to the very end of the counter. You don't have to measure to the center of me. That's, oh, the, only, okay. that's the only thing that's, that's not right. So range two. And I shot last turn, so I you'll get in the yeah. That's right. One. You'll get a plus one here now. Okay, so you are uh, base to hit is seven. There's no modifier for range now because you're close enough. You're not in point blank, but you're less than anything, so you're still at seven. Um, you're firing at a compact, a front of a compact. That's brings it up to nine. And let's see, uh, fire is in the target's back arc, and the target is in the firer's front side arc. Side arc. Yep. So I am going 85. So half of that. I said it, my last number was at 10, right? I think is what it was. So it's 12, and this is your second shot at me now, so it was 11. 11 or more, Eric? Oh. Because we're going so fast, it makes it really hard to, uh, to hit. Yeah, not even close. <clears throat> Okay, Lan, you were going to fire? No, not this place. Oh, not? Okay. Uh, Dan, were you going to try to do something all the way over there by yourself? Uh, as far as firing? Uh, no. Okay. I had considered it. I am going to consider my insane driving style. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we go right to phase two now. So uh, you get to move two inches first, uh, Dan. Uh, so I Sorry. would like to uh, do a D1. Do I do that after I move my two inches? No, no. You can do it any time during those two inches. Oh, you, okay. Right? So it's up to how you time it. So, Dan, we'll get you to go first. All right. So I, I, I want to do – so I could move – I guess I could move an inch – and then do a D1 and then move another inch? That's right, yep. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. I see how it plays out. Yep. Okay. Uh, somebody needs further line of sight. Oh, sorry. That's, that's Eric. Eric, can you double click on that uh, on your screen anywhere on the map? Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> All right, Daniel. So you're going 105, and you just went down to negative one. All right. So for you, negative one at 105, you need to roll a three or higher on one dice. I rolled a two. So you just lost control <laughs> of your vehicle. So I'm going to that could be that could be good, right? That could end up being really good, right? It can be. <laughs> Especially coming up next to the wall. So I last words. I'm just going to clone you the way it is right now because this is where the mechanics get kind of funky. Okay. 
So <clears throat> what I'm going to get you to do eventually, I'll work out the modifiers. Because of your speed, you got to add two to your roll. Because of your maneuver, you subtract two, so you're at base, you're zero. Okay, so nothing. So essentially for you, you need to roll 2d6, and that's the higher bad. You want to get as low as possible with no modifiers. So it's 2d6 with no modifiers. So a five. This is what happened to you. Our radio won't work. One can hope. <laughs> oh. I ran out of windshield washer fluid. You are going to do a moderate skid. Okay? Oh, okay. So what happens to you next phase, because this is when it happens, so you're not going to be, you got one more inch to move, right? Or you done all your moves? Uh... I think I'm done. I think I think where I'm at now is my two inches. Okay, so on the next turn, I you're gonna skid. So I'll look after that for you. But you're kind of out of control right now. Okay. okay. So, so when we get back to your face, so you're doing a moderate skid. I'm mid skid. You're mid skid right now. <laughs> oh, Daniel, you're my hero. <laughs> See, that's how we learn, you know, by doing stupid shit. <laughs> We've all done it. So I get the move next. I'm going 85. So I got to move an inch and a half. So I'm going to use my half inch first. And now I'm going to use my full inch. Oh, sorry. Uh, Eric, you get to move your, your inch first before I do my next one. Okay. Uh, so you move one since inch. I, since I shot, can I also... Uh, do a movement? Yes, you can, yep. Uh, maneuver? Yep, that's right. I think I missed my first two inch move. Yeah, you have to move. Sorry, you have to move one inch, and then everyone else. We're still doing our uh, our phases right now, so you move next. Yeah, but we're just start. I mean, in phase one, I only moved one, and I think I should have moved two. Seventy five. You should have moved. Yeah, two inches. So yeah, so move your one more inch if you haven't done it already. All right, so I, that, that'd be a, what, a D2 or it, D1? No, that's a D2 because you're on the dirt. Okay. So that... And then I can move forward one inch or I have to roll to see if I you, bite the dust too. You have to roll and see what happens to you. Because you're at negative... Uh, let's see, I just moved you down to negative one going 70 or 80 miles per hour. You're safe. You don't have your any other maneuver would force you to make a control roll. All right, and then can I move forward too, or I'm stuck there now? Well, uh, Land got to do his first inch of his move. Okay. First, and then we all move again one inch. So, Land, you just did your move, right? Oh, you're doing it now. There you go. So Lan's doing a D1. D2. Let's start over again. I'm hitting the wrong keys. Oh, no problem. D1. 
one. <clears throat> so you just did a D1, right? That's correct. Okay. Did you so... move my mark? Did you move my... Uh, I did, yep. I, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll look after that for you. It's just easier where I'm keeping track of everyone else. Unless you want to look after it from here on in. That way we won't double move something by accident. No, that's fine. I just wanted because I was going to move it. Okay. I realized, wait a minute, I was at two. Yeah, yeah. So you're at one there now. So we all have to move an additional inch. So I am going to do... Uh, I'm going to do a D2. One... One... Two. So that puts me down to negative one, going to 85. You know what, this map needs, it needs more like corridors and stuff where people are forced to play chicken oh we got a lot maps oh do. yeah loads of different maps i gotta roll a dice if i roll one i'm in trouble <sighs> i'm in trouble Funny. <laughs> awesome okay so uh i'm going 85 miles per hour which is a plus two to anything and that's supposed to be two dice no, not not your control roll. My crash, my oh, you're what? Right, I forgot. Yeah, right. my next one's going to be two dice. <clears throat> so what works out for me is just a basic roll, a basic die roll. So I want to low roll as low as possible. Box cars is bad. I rolled an eight, which is not good either. I think I'm going to employ uh, Daniel's tactics and savage rolls and wait till you're down and then shoot you. That's the way to go, though. If someone's shaking, that's when you go after him. <laughs> so, guys, I have to do a uh, moderate skid myself. Or, sorry, a severe skid, sorry. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm out of control right now. I can't do anything else this phase. So, everyone else gets to move their one, I one inch if they haven't done it already, except for Daniel. So, Lan, you get to move your inch if you haven't done it already. I've moved. Oh, you moved? Yes. Okay, firing actions. Me and Daniel can't do anything because we lost control. So, uh, Eric? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try to take you down. Oh, everyone's shooting at me. Why me? <laughs> Did I do something? I invited you to play, and everyone's shooting at me. It's killing me. I feel I feel loved. <clears throat> hey, you got the upper hand. <laughs> All right. So, I will work out the number that you need. You're in my side arc, and I'm in your side arc, so there's no speed modifiers. Uh, Yay. Oh, sorry. Side arc versus side arc is target speed minus the fire speed. So, uh... 85 versus yeah so there's no modify modifications for speed uh you are four inches away less than four actually so there's no modifier for that this is your third shot so you get plus two so you're down to five you're shooting at a subcompact which is a six so six or more on two dice no that's that's possible yep which is really gonna do the job on me if you hit me there we go. Uh, okay, roll two dice, uh, minus two, but the minimum roll is one. So two dice minus two for damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to screw his handling up even worse. Oh, this just really, 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 really hurts me. Okay, so Eric, uh, let me first of all scratch off the damage first before I forget. 
That was my what side? My left side, isn't it? Yeah. So I went from 25 armor down to 15 armor. <clears throat> uh, hazards. Your fire did to me. Uh, D3. Oh, you just pretty much killed me. You just drove my handling class down to negative 1, down to negative 4. So I need to do a... Uh, oh, stupid. Control roll? Yeah, so I gotta roll two dice, add two to it, but because this, I gotta, this is a fishtail I'm gonna do, or a hazard from gunfire, so there's a bunch of rolls I gotta make. So, uh... Crash tables. See, that's how Daniel plans on being the last one standing, just <laughs> avoiding everybody. <clears throat> so I, the way it works for me, I got to roll two dice and add two to it. Hold on, now. Uh, I'm going 85 miles per hour, so that's a minus two. Uh, that makes it plus one. And then you just done three. Yeah, it's two dice minus plus one. Sorry, is what I gotta do. All right, two dice plus one. Oh, bad, bad, <laughs> bad. Okay, so <clears throat> I just rolled a an eleven. Which means I got to execute a major fishtail. So first of all, I gotta do my fishtail. And then next turn, you've still got to roll. Oh yeah. After this, you got to roll on the crash table, and then you still have a. Minor skid left over from the first maneuver. Yeah, I know. It's I'm just completely messed up here now. I'm I'm gonna be crashing into that wall. I can see it. Oh, the fishtail could pull you out. It's away from gunfire, away from the target. So, uh, on my front right. I just gotta look at my book and see what a major fishtail is. One second. I think it's a. It's a pivot from the front one. So it's two squares. Yeah, it's two squares, so control C one two. Okay, so that's the way I fishtailed. <clears throat> that's so that's the way I am right now, which is awesome. Um <laughs> and now I gotta roll again. Because I gotta go in the crash table one. So I roll two dice. It's a plus one, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eric, you just forced me to go into a spin out. That was my intention. Yeah. So fish spin outs happen immediately on my next phase. Yeah, so. <clears throat> okay. All this is happening in the target area or it's direction I'm heading. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 75 miles an hour. <sighs> okay, uh, so uh, uh, Lane, or Lan, you get to fire at me now. Or Eric, perhaps Eric. Actually, I, wasn't, I was going to wait another turn to fire. Oh, okay. It looks like I'm not going to need to. All right, then. <clears throat> in another phase, not turn. Okay, so we're in the phase three now. Uh, 
this is where we got to go back to Daniel, who was doing a moderate skid. I am mid skid. So I'll get over there. And now that it looks like he's about to go spinning wildly out of control, I'm changing targets. Well, I really didn't have anybody targeted anyway. I did fire continuously. Okay, uh, Daniel, you immediately uh, subtract 10 miles per hour from your speed. So you're now down to 195. Okay. And you're still skidding. And you have to do a trivial skid. Uh, so control C. It sound it looks kind of confusing what I'm doing to you, but don't worry about it. If I was worried about it, I wouldn't be doing 105 miles an hour. <laughs> so, so relaxed. <laughs> okay, so you have to do one point of damage to every tire, and you're now on back under control again. Awesome. Okay. For me, I have to go in the direction of my skid. Control C, and I got to spin in the same direction as I was going. So that overrides everything there. Uh, so I'm going 85, I move. Vehicle spins moving one inch in the direction. All rotations is the same direction, okay. Uh, each tire takes one dice of damage. Eric, you get the you technically you damaged me, so roll four dice and these this is the damage to my tires. Front left, front right, back left, back right. <sighs> you're a jerk. <laughs> you're just, you're just really killing me. <clears throat> I'm gonna die when I hit this wall anyway, so uh great. Great. Your handling class kind of sucks, too. Oh, I know. Hey, I just want to remind you, you open fire first. <laughs> so. Just rub it in. Yeah. So I'm at four on that tire. <laughs> Five on that tire. Five on that tire. And I'm three left on that tire. I automatically now slow to 20. I slow down 20. So I'm now going 65. So that's my first phase. Okay, Eric, you get to move your inch now. Lane or Lan, you get to move your inch. Are we in phase three now? Yes, we are. Yep. Yes, we are. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, yeah. So you get to move your. Yeah, you move your inch now. You just did it, right? There you go. I have to move a half inch. And I will be firing this turn. Oh, it's no problem. Way, not at you. <clears throat> okay, so I just skid at my last half inch. Uh, 
Daniel, I kind of forgot about you. Oh. You get to move two inches. All right. So we'll just do you first before we continue on. Two inches toward the wall. <laughs> okay. Okay, Eric and Lan get to move in a, one more inch, and those you guys get to. Uh, uh, well, Eric got to move first. Now, Daniel, uh, you can break up to 10 miles an hour without any maneuver or any uh, maneuver issues. I would like to do that without a... Uh, there's not going to be a uh, chance of me losing control again. No, that's right. You can slow up to 10 miles per hour, so you can slow to 85 if you wanted to. All right. I'm going to roll it down to 85. Okay. I'm about to die in a spectacular death. I'm firing. Okay, Eric, what are you going to do? Firing back at him. <laughs> okay, so... Did uh, he fire at you, though, this turn? Oh, he did. That's what put me into the spin, didn't it? Oh, that's right. Yep. Okay, so I can't, right? That's right. <laughs> Again, remember what happened to the guy that opened fire? me so just a reminder <laughs> that yeah i understand i know what you're saying hey you fired first <sighs> i did i deserve it Okay, so uh, right. We're crossing speed, so it's like it's eighty-five miles an hour. Yeah, so it's going to be so minus, six minus six right off the bat. And combat minus. That's right. Be minus. That's an additional minus one because at the side. So. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, unless I got boxcars, it wouldn't be worth thinking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Phase four. Eric, you're going... Oh, Daniel gets to go first because he's going faster. So, Daniel, you get to move an inch and a half. You can move your half inch first and then do your... an inch or your inch first and then your half. But you I can... Will do my, I will do my half inch first. Okay. And I would like to do a D1. Okay, so if you, you can't do a maneuver on your half move. Ah, so you have okay. to do... Well, then I will do a D1, and then I will move my inch. Okay, so... GM charts. Speed control. See what happens to you. You may have to roll again. All right. So you're going 85. You have to roll a two or more on one dice to stay safe. I can, I can do it. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on before you roll. Oops. Don't worry. You, you, you. I gotta adjust your handling class. Ah. First. Sorry. No, it's my fault. My fault. You're actually down to negative two now. Awesome. So minus two going 85 is three or more. So one dice, three or more, and you're safe. So you're safe. You notice how I said if you just don't roll a one, and I rolled a one? <laughs> 
Rule number one, never, ever, ever, ever say that. <laughs> okay, so you're safe. You're good. You are good. So you can move your other half inch now just to have you finish with. All right. So, Eric, you're going 80. So you get to move one inch. Lang gets to move one inch. I'm also decelerating, Tim. Okay. So that will put you down to 60. So, yeah, so you move your one inch. That's a D1. That's a D1, so you're down to zero. So, uh, Eric, you're about to see me crash into the wall, so compliments to the fellow Canadian who put the other Canadian into the wall. <laughs> you're welcome. Just for kicks, seeing usually I roll my own. Da you roll your own damage for collisions, but just for fun, you get to roll eight dice, and that's the total damage to my side. Because I'm crashing into the wall as a head-on. All right, so I'm gonna go four and then four. Okay. You're relentless. Sixteen. <laughs> Oh, I might live from this yet. 16. 21 to 27. So you breach my side armor. Uh, roll two, one dice. If it's even, the damage goes to... Damage got to go internally, so it's spread evenly against the internal components. Oh, so I got three internal components. So one ties the damage on everything. So my whole right armor is gone. And I'm wounded. Zero. My engine took a point. My gas tank took a point. Okay, Eric, I got to I gotta read a rule. See how I die here, because I think I may have to. I forgot uh, these were yeah. gasoline engines. Yeah, I got gasoline yeah. engines, which is bad. Yeah, I want to hear that, of course. I was so sure of my shot that I uh, lit up a cigar. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually not a fan of cigars, but these are kind of kind of neat cognac. Uh, flavored cigars from the Dominican Republic. Okay, seeing we got like the cheapest possible gas tank we can have in our vehicle, uh, there's a three and six chance I will catch fire. So roll one dice and three, four, five, or six, I'm on fire. And you, you roll the five. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm on fire. Yeah, yeah. I do. I got one chance. If not, then I could explode. You on fire, Ricky Bobby? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I'm now at a dead halt. By the way, oh, control. Halt and 
catch fire. Fire. Zero. So uh, you guys all ready shot and done everything. So this is phase five now. So Dan, you get the move. How fast are you going again now? Uh, 85. Um, you get to move two inches. Okay. I would like to uh, perform a D1. Actually, I'd like to do a D2. Okay. But I think I better... I think I better just do a D one. Well, you're going. You're getting awfully close to the black line. Yes. So let me try a D one. Okay. Uh, can can I uh, can I slow? No, you've already done it. You gotta wait till the okay, next phase you, to do it. So that's once once per turn. Once per turn. Yep. Okay, you've got to roll a three or better to not lose it if All you right, do a D one. I am doing a D1. And I got a one. <laughs> oh, the one thing you forgot to do is move your inch forward. Oh. So I'll do that for you. I got you. I got you looked after. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so you lost control. Uh, this is good. This makes me not feel so bad. I'm zooming between these two cars that are just sliding and everything else all over the place. I'm not impressed with the handling. <laughs> They're kind of. This is why it's amateur night. This is this is what the crowds want to see. Uh, well, that's one reason why getting up to high speeds is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> So you said you're going 85, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Did the D1, so that's at zero. If for you, it's just a straight roll. So 2D6, roll low. So you rolled a six. Why don't you roll like a 10 or more and spin it like me? No. <laughs> no, you just skid around everywhere. Uh, okay, so a moderate skid. So the next turn, you're going to skid into uh, the wall and then skid again the next turn. Not very good. So we'll just leave you there for a second. Right, guys, I just got to get my dog. I'll be right back. No problem. Yeah, Dan, I read your uh, your little story there. Great stuff, man. Oh, thanks. That's why I was thinking. As soon as you dropped that father thing on me, man, that like a whole bunch of stuff just clicked in the place about him. Okay, Dan. Yeah, I'm back. What we're gonna do? That was your first inch of that move. So we'll just continue on with you and get you finished out of the way. I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I got control C. So you automatically go down to sixty now. Oh, very good. So slowing down is good. Or sorry, you go down by not 60 to uh, my mistake. You go down by 10, so 75. Okay. And each tire takes one point of damage.
Now, you still got to do a trivial skid on your next phase of movement. So, just to let you know. Okay. Uh, It'll be trivial. Yeah. So, Dan, uh, Eric, you get to go next. You move an 80, so you get to move two inches. And Lan will get to move one inch. And this is phase five? Phase five, yep. So everyone's fired and done everything this round. Goes into the next turn. <clears throat> okay, uh, Daniel, you're, you're still skidding, so you got to finish your skid first before you can take control and break or slow down. All right. Okay. <laughs> so what you're a big wall right in front of you. You're <laughs> coming really close. So uh, I'm stopped. Oh, first I got to see if I blow up first and see if my fire extinguisher works. Yes, you do. <laughs> if a vehicle has an approved fire extinguisher, I have a 4 and 6 chance for it to be put out without taking any damage. So a 1 to 4 on the D6, I'm fine. I'm safe. No fire. I'm good. No explosions for me. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I'm at a zero. Uh, my handling class, I'll adjust the handling classes now. All the handling classes go up. Is, is that thing still drivable? It is, but all my whole right side of my armor is gone. And I'm wounded. So, Lan, you're back up to three again. Daniel, I forgot to move you down for the last couple of turns, but you're back up to negative one. And Eric, you're up to two. So I'll get... Uh, I'm going to stay still. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to speed up. Um, Lan, are you going to speed up or slow down or do anything? I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down to 50, which is a D1. A D1, yep. A D1, yep. So when you're slowing down, though, it takes your previous speed. Like it, it's the one time where kind of you kind of got to backtrack first. Oh no, no, you're no, never mind. It's the start of a new turn. New turn. So you're good. So you're at Nick. You're at two now. Uh, yeah. Eric, uh, are you going to speed up or slow down? I'm going to slow down. I figured you would speed up and ram right into the side of Daniel. T-bone him. Wipe him right out with a crash. It's just a suggestion. Slow down, I mean, by 10. Yeah. Okay, yep. Oh, and I'm also announcing fire. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, but that's done at the, after everyone moves, right? So. Yeah, we just haven't moved yet. That's right. Okay, Daniel, you're going... You're actually supposed to be at 75, no? Yep. So, 75. Oh, yeah. Oops, right. So what's everyone's speeds? So I can look at this. 50, 70, and 75. So Daniel, you'll finish your skid first. So you skid one inch, or one quarter of an inch, and then go ahead three. <laughs> You 
you're going to end up crashing into this wall at 75 miles per hour before you can slow down. <laughs> Just to let you know. Okay, uh, Eric, you get the move. One? Uh, two inches. You're going 70. Yeah, so you get the move two inches. Done. Lan, you get the move one inch. And I'm shooting you when I get the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no problem. And I'm shooting at you. Okay. Luckily, uh, I'm moving and you're not. So yeah, I know. I know. So we'll get the uh, Eric. Are you going to do any shooting at all? Yeah, I'm going to shoot. Uh, uh, was uh, Shell Bark Brown? Yeah. <laughs> I would like to decelerate. <laughs> yep. I think you will. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay, so we'll do you first. Uh, his speed, because of the arcs, is going to be the target Isn't speed. Isn't it speed zero? Not yet. He's still going 75 miles per hour. If you wait a phase, you, you he will be zero. Just to let yeah. you know. He may also be flaming and he could spread all over the corner of the building here. Uh, yeah, I'll wait. Just I'll wait a out phase. for the best for you, Daniel. Yeah, so and I'll, one rule too, just to let everyone know, is that you can never roll higher than a twelve. So if the modify, if the end number is higher than twelve, it's an automatic miss. Just to let every, let everybody know that. Okay, Lan, you get to shoot at me. All right, uh, you're stationary. That's just one compact yeah. minus one, so it's a straight roll. Yep, you're absolutely right. So that's as a hit roll damage, two d six minus two. That will be uh, seven. Seven to my left side. Man, I'm I'm very low on that side. I got eight points of damage left on that side. So I'm going to shoot at you. I'm stopped. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to shoot. There's no way I can hit you. I'm 50, so that's a minus three. Oh. Compact, that's a minus one. So that's a four total. Uh, I'm not moving. That brings it down to a three. So, hey, there's a chance I can get you. So I need a 10 or more. Ha, <laughs> miss. Thumb my nose at you as I swish by. <laughs> and I am going to scratch off a shot. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. <clears throat> okay, Daniel goes into the next phase. You are going to, I'm assuming, going to try to slow down? Yeah. Okay. You have to make your control. Your, how, first of all, how slow, how much are you going to try to slow down? Um, crazy amount. Crazy amount? Okay, so this is the... This is the numbers. If you want to break down, break by, uh, where's my thing too? Pretty much a slam on the brakes thing, huh? 
And yep. we're going to end up skidding into the wall anyway, I'm sure. Right now, if you look at me crosswise, I lose control. I'm only at a negative one on my chart. Or I could accelerate and be spectacular. <laughs> well, there's no hazard to speeding up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I gotta find your movement acceleration. Okay, so if you want to slow down by 15, it's a negative one, or it's a D1. 20 is D2, 25 is D3, 30 is D5, and it gets progressively worse after that. I'll I'll roll with uh, 25. I'll roll with 25. Okay, so the way it works for you, uh, that's a minus three. So that brings you down to minus four, and you're still going 75. You got to make your roll first. So you got to roll a four or more on one dice to slow down. No problem. <laughs> okay. You said no problem. <laughs> no problem at all. No problem. <laughs> It's all under control. <clears throat> okay, so you're successfully successfully slowed down to that speed by 25. All right. And you now so move ahead. What speed are you going now, Daniel? It's going 50. <laughs> so you're going to come to an abrupt halt uh, at front of the wall and your front takes f you immediately become zero speed hey all right yeah but the amount of damage you were going to take is half just from the maneuver oh no no that's still that's still uh a head on there yeah but it goes from 10 die to 5 die He's at 50. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. So roll five dice of damage to your front. Impressive. 20 damage to your front. He's going to squeak out of this. <laughs> no, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's all part of my plan. I'm going to lure somebody in. <laughs> Back out at the last minute. So because of your crash, you're now at minus six. Uh, your your speed is going to be based on the 50. So you need to roll on the crash table again. So... That's a minus three, so it's plus one. Your speed is... And what am I rolling? This is going to be your... What happens, like... It's, it's just based... The only reason why we're doing it is to see if you were going to be able to be somewhat conscious on the next phase. All right, gotcha. And what dice am I rolling? You got to roll two dice and add two to it. So five, six, seven, eight. So it's a moderate eight. skid. So technically, what happens? You're just going to crash into the wall, come to a stop, and there's no additional issues. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay, so uh, Eric, you get to move. You're going 70, so you get to move one inch. Lan gets to move one inch. Can I get to shoot now? Yes. After you, after you're done moving. Yep. That's a D5, and I'm going to have to roll a 2 for better. Okay. 
Don't roll a one, is what you're saying? You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, it, it's, it happens. <laughs> I'm telling you, it happens. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, Lan, you need to roll two dice and add, it's a D5, subtract three, two, and add three. Two dice plus three. Uh, plus three, that'd be a 13. Let me read out what happens to you at a 13. And you guys thought mine was spectacular. Okay, why plus three? Because, <clears throat> because of your speed, it's a plus one, right? Uh, because of your maneuver, you subtract three from the number and of your D, and that gets added to your roll. So if you're doing... Oh, I forgot about the maneuver. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you, are, you rolled a uh, 13, which means you are now rolling, and you're on fire. Nothing like rolling high when you really don't need it. No, I know, eh? <laughs> so that is going to replace your your maneuver. Let me little roll it, line you up that way. Jeez, what happened to you, Lan? Well, I got overconfident. You did a big old maneuver. do so so far there's two cards there's been two collisions one roll well, i have to roll to see if it's going to catch on fire yeah well no you're automatically on fire you'll get the roll if in case you're uh see if you gets put out oh no hold on well, oh no 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 you're right I have to roll a four, no five or six no you were right roll, so. yeah you were right sorry about that so you might as well roll the dice see what happens I'm on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> Control J. Oh, sorry. Did that wrong. And you take one dice of damage to your left side. And your tires are going to take damage too, I think. Yeah. So two dice of damage to your left side. And each and tire... I think the tires only take damage when I land on them again. Oh, no, you're right. Uh, hold on, let me read it out. Um, the car decelerates 20 miles per hour a turn. It goes one inch... Rolls one quarter. Yeah, you're right. But you're now instantly 30 miles per hour. So you can scratch yourself down to 30. This is a hard way to decelerate. <laughs> <laughs> Very. I have a harder one. Okay, Eric, so you get the shoot. <laughs> cool. Alright. So your range is 10. Let's see. Range of 10. Yeah, he's, he's not moving. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be a lot easier. So your base to hit is 7. Because of range, it brings it up to 9. Because he's a compact, it brings it up to 10. But where he's not moving... It brings it back down to a nine. So nine or more. You hit. There we go. Eric's like an ace with the shooting. That's ridiculous. So two dice minus two. Yeah, not a whole lot. Four. So four on your left side there, Dan. All right. 
we go to phase three, uh, I'm going to speed up now to 15. And you can hear the hunk of metal. <laughs> That uh, rattling sound. <laughs> yep. So I'm speeding up to 15. Uh, Lan is out of control. Eric, you've already sped up this turn or slowed down. You did something, right? Uh, yeah, I did slow down. Okay. And uh, Daniel, you can go in reverse now. Oh, that's what I want to do. Okay. So you can go up to... Uh, uh, you can go to 10, you can do a reverse pivot. Now, a pivot is a kind of a weird maneuver. You move a quarter of an inch backwards, and then you can pivot on any back corner, or any front corner, sorry. Any, okay. so yeah, any back corner. Up to any distance distance you want. So let me just show you what it looks like. So you move back a quarter, and you can actually now rotate as much as you want that direction. Oops, sorry. Oh, okay. That's pretty good right there, actually. Like that? But you're still going backwards. So the next turn, you got to come to a stop, and then you got to go, because you, you can't go between right. zero and up. That's right. Okay. That's if you're... And, at... and, and will I have a chance to return fire? Or am I still seeing stars from hitting the wall? No, you're good. Oh, no, sorry. you you got to wait till the end of your turn to be able to fire. Okay. I'm announcing early. <laughs> <laughs> control Z, control X. I think I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I can see a head-on collision coming here. Just running right over top of him. So, uh, Lan, you get to move your inch... Half inch. Two points to the roof, and now I'm going ten miles an hour. No, you. Uh, I think he's at the start of your turn. Is that start of the turn? Not each phase. Yeah, it's per turn. So you're still going. You're still going thirty right now. So two on your front. Uh, uh, two on my top. Two, yeah, sorry, two on your top. Oh, I'm going to roll for a while then. Yeah. I get to move half inch. Uh, Eric, you get to move your maneuver. So you're going 70. And you get to move two inches. Done. <laughs> Phase four. I can't do anything. Daniel can't do anything. Eric, you get to move one inch. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Phase five now. I don't do anything. Uh, Lan, you move ahead another inch. And you're now on your right... S you went to your... Yeah, I'm on the right side. Yeah, on your right side now, so you take a dice to that. Well, hardly any damage at all. Eric going his blistering 70, gets to move another inch. And this is the start of phase... Oh, this is where we got to roll to see if your fire extinguisher works, Lan. Okay, it's one die. Yep, and I think it works. I get yeah, it. it's four, five, or six, I believe, isn't it? Uh,
four and six chance. So uh, if the vehicle has a fire extinguisher, it has a four and six chance. So one to four. Well, I rolled a, rolled a six. Okay, so then you take one point of damage uh, to every component, but you may explode first. Uh, okay, on a roll, at the end of each turn, on a roll of one, the vehicle explodes. If you have a gas engine, it's a two and six chance. So a one or a two, you explode. Oh, we got one more phase before that happens? No, that happens right now. Because your fire extinguisher's got a chance to put it out, and then you got to, it didn't. So you may blow up. So roll another 1D? That's right. So one, two. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So you have just exploded. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's a burn and wreck that way. And you uh, did it to yourself. Well, Lan, uh, you had the upper hand for sure. I can't believe I did that. I got the, I got over ambitious with my turn. <laughs> yeah, victims of us one all. Le one less D, and I wouldn't have even had to roll. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. really. I <sighs> I pushed it to where I had to roll a a one. It was the only reason, the only way I could go wrong, and I rolled a one. Oh, brutal. So, Eric, uh, you get to... Uh, this is to start in a new turn. I'm going to speed up now to... 15. I, get to, I speed up last turn. So I'm going to speed up by 20. So I'm up to 35. Whoop. I'm going to slow down. Well, since I got to get up early in the morning, guys, I'm going to go cry in my pillow. <laughs> Lan, I, I hope right. I hope you have fun, man, and I uh, I'm glad that you uh, join in. Oh yeah, I like to do this again. This was fun. Oh I, good. I, I ruined myself, so nobody to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Lan. Yeah, thanks, bud. Catch you later. All right, we'll see you guys around. See you later. So fifteen. Is my math not working up right? Working right? Fifteen. I'm up from fifteen up to thirty-five. It's twenty. Twenty plus fifteen is thirty-five. Okay. Okay. So you said you're slowing down, Eric? Yeah, to sixty. To sixty. So this is the start of a new turn. So everyone's disconnected from your channel. everyone's handling class gets to get fixed. So Eric, you're back up to three again. Uh, Daniel's back up to three, and I'm back up to three, <coughs> and you're down to sixty. So you get to go. Oh. Uh, Daniel, I guess you want it to come to a stop now so you can go forward. Oh, yeah. So we'll, you change your speed to zero. And Eric gets to move two inches first. And I'm going to move one inch. Whenever I get a chance, I'm going to shoot at him. Okay, you have an option now. You can shoot at his front or his side. Obviously, his front is more damaged than anything else. Because he just rammed into yeah, the front. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot at his front. <clears throat> okay. Was, so there's... Was I not able to shoot? Oh, no, you're, you'll are you be able to shoot now. It's all, it's all uh, simultaneous anyway. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> 
Okay, Eric, so you're firing at the front of his vehicle. So it's a base of seven. There's no modifiers for range. It's the front of a compact, so it's minus two, so that brings it up to a, uh, to a nine. He stopped, brings it back to an eight. And you fired at him last round. Last turn. Yeah. So that brings it back down to a seven. Oh. And you miss. Eric, I'm assuming that you're, or sorry, Dan, you're, I'm assuming you're going to try to fire back at him? I would like to. Okay. Um, I'm having trouble. I can't get my line of sight work. Oh, okay. Eric, can you double click? There you go. You should have it now. There you go. So for you, oh, wow. it's going to be the same as his, except it's an 8 as opposed to in the 7. All right, is that 2 die 6? Yeah, 2d6. Hey. That's a hit. 2 dice minus 2 to his front. So two, three points of damage to Eric's front. Eric's handling class goes down by one. No bueno. <laughs> so in phase two... In phase two, um, Eric, you get to move one inch. I get to move a half inch. Okay, but uh, could I start uh, doing some turning here? You can, yep. Is, are those templates only to turn right? Well, no, what uh, all you got to do is just, for example... You can go this way and line it up like that. Oh, okay. Or you can flip it around this way and just find the number that you need. You know what I mean? I used to have, for some reason, it's not working, but before I used to hit Control F and it would automatically flip, like reverse itself, but it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. Okay. Hold on. So you're looking at doing a D5 bend to the left. That's what you're looking at. There should be a, a D5 right there by that number, by that corner. No, so you only move. I can't do that, right? No, that's right. You can do the only place you can go now. I gotta reverse that. Sorry, hold on. The only place you can go right now would be there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there. All right, so that's what I'm gonna try to do, and that'd be a D. That's D4 a D five. No, it's just, just yeah, it's just a D5 there. So your hand in class goes from 2 down to minus 3. You're going 60 miles per hour. So you need to roll a 3 or more. Now, remember what happened in the lane. <laughs> yeah, and that's what, what, 1D6? 1D6, yep. All right. You're impossible. <clears throat> so you got control this phase. Uh, phase three. Everyone, me and you, Eric, we move. I'm going 35 and you're going 60. So we both move an inch. Oh, I 
you're doing a, a d4. Let's put you at minus six. Your handling class can never uh, get worse than six, just by the way, just so you know. Okay, well, I just don't want to hit the wall, <laughs> although I might have to anyway. Okay, so you have to roll a five or more on a d6 to keep control. And let me line up. There you go. Let me line you up a bit. There you go. So a five or more. Okay, so you just lost oh. control. <laughs> because I'm you're going. Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so because you're going 60 miles per hour, is a plus one to your roll. It's going to be the same modifiers as what Land had. So it's 2d6 plus 3. So you did a 7. Control C. I got to bring you back. Just give me a second there, Eric. I just got to get you lined up. So you roll the seven. So you have to do a severe skid. Uh, on your next phase of movement, you are going to reduce your speed by 20, and each tire is going to take two points of damage. One point of damage? Two points. <clears throat> So your your speed now instantly becomes 40. And because you're going 40 now, you're actually not going to move this phase, which works in your favor. And nothing else can happen. I'm moving 35. Phase five now, Eric. This is where you're going to skid. So you need to roll. Sorry, move you up this way. It goes like that, and then you end up right here. <clears throat> and on your next phase of movement, you're going to do a minor skid. So it looks like you're going to hit the wall. Yay. But the thing is, you're slowed down to 40. So uh, uh, how many dice do I roll? Well, we'll get to you in a second. Now. I'm going to move ahead my inch. Becomes a new phase. Okay, Daniel, you can speed up now, up to 15. Oh, very good. Um... Can I wait? Oh yeah, you can wait if you want. I'm just gonna wait and uh, uh, draw a bead on Eric as he heads into the wall. Okay, and I'm gonna <laughs> speed up to 55. Eric, you gotta lose control first. No, I don't. <laughs> So control C, I'll line you up. Oh. So you hit the wall doing your half skid like that. Sweet. So, um, It's the way it works. You hit right on the line. Like there's, hold on now. Let me figure out because that was so close to going out the gate. Oh yeah, <laughs> you would have too. <laughs> I'm out of here. It's going to be. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> you come to a screeching halt. You're now at zero. And you're now going to take three dice of damage to your right side. 
Ho ho. Wow. So that's what? 9, 15 to my right side. You're down to 10. I can still take it. So we'll go continue on with the phase now. I'll move my inch and a half because of my speed. Uh, you guys are Eric. You can't do any. You can't do any shooting this round because you just you got to wait till the end of your next turn or start of yeah, your next fine. phase. <clears throat> so Daniel, you can shoot whenever you want. You can shoot now or you can wait. I will shoot now. <clears throat> okay. So both targets are stopped. So your base is seven. Uh, that brings it down to a five. You're firing at a compact at the rear end, so that brings it back up to a seven. And as your second shot, back down to a six. So six or more on two dice. That's a hit. Hey. Two dice minus two. For damage, so two dice minus two. Uh, I'm not very good at damage. Plus it's self-inflicted. <laughs> so five uh, back damage. Three yeah, damage. Yeah, th three damage to you, to the rear armor. Okay, so you guys can't do anything else this phase, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all my moves. The remainder of them. So I move four more inches. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take a shot at Dan. Dan, can you clear your uh, line of sight, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, so base is seven because of the range it brings it up to a nine. Uh, because it's the front of a compact, it brings it up two more, so it brings it up to eleven. Uh, you're stopped, which brings it down to a ten. And that's a miss. Scratch off a shot. Okay, new phase. Uh, I'm going to speed up. Me too. So I'm going to speed up by 20, so I'm up to 75. Right, speed up to 15. Yep. Gree a greasy, greasy speed of 15. <laughs> and Eric, you can reverse up to 10 miles per hour. Or you okay, can do that I'll pivot. Do that. You can do that pivot thing too. The same thing that Daniel did. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, can you do it for me? Yep. So I'll move you back this far. What back corner did you want to pivot on? Your back right or your back? It was your back right. Sorry, still only one. Sorry, my mistake. So you can do. You can do as much as you want. You can do uh, 180, or 360 is entirely up to you. No, I just want to line up so that I can go uh, forward. West. Yeah. Okay. So you want to be like that, right? Yep, that's good. Oh, line up. Just there you go. Straighten up a bit. Control Z. Minus, minus 10. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so uh, you've already done your move, so we'll just forget you for now. I'm going 75, so I get to move two inches. Dan, you get to move one inch. All right. One, two. And everyone's hand on class is now back up to zero, by the way, or back up to normal. <clears throat> okay, is that the end of phase one? So I'm not going to shoot. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, are you going to do anything, Daniel? I am going to shoot. Okay. Hey, maybe. Let me see if I, if I want to. Or not. Yep. Of six. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay, so it's a base of seven. Uh, it's a two hit. Sorry, it's front of a compact. It brings up to nine. It is, f and the range is ten. So ten or more. Uh, That's a miss. Eric, uh, Eric, are you going to try to do anything? Well, I want to move forward and accelerate. If oh, I can. no, you've already done your move, but this is your firing option. Oh, firing. Uh, yeah, why not? So this is your base of... Let's see. Base of seven... No modifiers for speed. Compact brings it up to eight. Both moving. So eight or more. And you fired last round, last phase, didn't you? Before you last crashed? Last two phases. Last two phases. So you're now back to six. Six or more. And I rolled a seven, so that's, that's it. Roll dice. Two dice minus two. Seven to your right side, Daniel. So I'm not shooting this phase. So everyone else is shot. So uh, phase two, I move one inch. Dan, you get to move a half an inch. I'm still not going to fire. No one else. I am going to fire. No, but you've already tried to shoot at me. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I'm going I, to... Go ahead. I am not going to fire. <laughs> <laughs> so if I move in 75, I move two inches. One and two. Are you really going that fast? Oh, yes. I'm going to show you a spectacular collision on one, one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, phase four... No one can do anything except for me. So I get to move one inch. Phase. F I don't get to move? Uh, no, because you only get to move a half inch. Oh. That's it. You're, you're done for moving now for this phase, right? Oh, I gotcha. So I'm, I'm going to shoot. fast enough. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at Dan. So it's base of seven to hit. Uh, this is my second shot now. So it brings it down to a six. It's a compact up to a seven. So seven or more. It's a miss. <laughs> Phase five, I get to move two inches. So I'm going to move one inch forward.
and I'm going to do a D, one, two, three. <laughs> 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 I think I think Dan is going to be the winner of this match. Oh, no, hold on, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back by one. D2. <clears throat> okay, so, everybody, you get to declare if you're going to speed up or slow down. If you want yeah, to. I'm going to speed up. Speed up. <laughs> <clears throat> so are you going to continue going in reverse? No, I'm going to go forward uh, and floor it. Okay, so you've actually got to go to zero first. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, I'll keep going on reverse. <laughs> are you going to stay that speed, though? Or are you going to... You can speed up to a maximum of minus 20. I'll go minus 20. All right. I see... Daniel already sped up. And I'm speeding up to 95. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at 95 miles per hour, everybody is going to move one inch, but I'm going to move two inches. You might miss me then. Oh, my hand in class goes back up. I'm going to do a D3 drift like this. <laughs> Great. Control X. <clears throat> okay, so everyone's done, done their one inch move, right? So far? Yeah. So I get to move my remainder of my inch. Control C. That's going to put me right there. <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. This is You're this almost dead, aren't you? Uh not my front armor. My front armor is completely uninjured. It's my side armor that's completely empty. Nah. <clears throat> okay. So this is called a T bone collision. Complete suicide for both of us. Well, suicide for me. Uh the collision speed is that of V one versus at this speed, hold on. So I'm going 95 miles per hour, which means it's going to be 14 dice of damage to my front and to your side. Ouch. So I'll roll damage to you, and then you roll damage to me. So I'll do 10. Or five and five and four. Ten, to your side armor. That's enough to destroy it. That, that'd be my left. I only have 25, so... Alright, so that means there's um, 24 left to go, right? 25. No, 19 left to go. Well, I'm minus 19, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so minus 19. So that damage gets divided into three and goes through everything on the inside. And whatever, like for example, uh, 
your gas tank can only take two points of damage. All right, I'm just trying to decode. I've got F, L, R, B, T, and U. Okay, yep. Now From that went to L, and now distributed. Which, which one is the inside? Oh, this is where it goes into your components. So you have three internal components. you got your gas tank, your driver, yourself, and your uh, engine. So you take 19 damage divided by three, and each component takes that much damage. Whatever gets through it goes into your other side. All right, I'm just trying to figure out where to put this on my notes. That's all. Pretty much. Well, you, for example, your character, your damage, sorry, your your driver is going to be killed. So 19 divided by three is what roughly um, six. Six. Okay. So one, roll a dice, one or two is your engine, three or four is your gas tank, five or six is you. Not like it makes a difference, but... So, it's your gas tank. So your your engine is going to take six points of damage, you're going to take six points of damage, and your gas tank is going to take seven points of damage. All right, just looking. Gas tank only had... 2 DP. So the rest of that damage goes towards your other armor, your right armor. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Like the damage blows through? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I'm, I'm just looking at uh, all the the damage where everything is. I found the um, engine, uh, HMG, gas tank i'm just looking for my oh your driver my takes damage goes. i'm sorry yeah just look for a driver and your driver has three hit points but here's the good news you're killed but i'm going to most likely die too because you get the roll 14 points of 14 dice of damage to my front Yeah, I couldn't find the driver on there. All right, I'll roll yours. Forty nine. Forty nine points of damage. <laughs> so forty nine subtract twenty five. I'm starting to get tired here now. Forty five take it with twenty five is what? Twenty four. Twenty four. So I got twenty four points of damage. okay. So my front armor has twenty five. Is now down to zero. I got twenty four points of armor left. My engine takes Uh, 16. So my engine's actually only got one point of damage, uh, already got a point of damage, so it takes 15. I'm down to zero. Eight points, and the rest go into me and into my gas tank. So I'm killed. We both go off in a blaze of glory. Oh my. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and, the, and the crazy driver uh, with the trike survived. So the final position of everyone is that. Did you take a screenshot for that? I, I have all this on videotape, but I will take a screenshot. <laughs> oh, all right. Control F. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, the plan of driving into a wall, almost dying himself, has led Dan to a victory in his first game. <laughs> <laughs> New tactics. You must write the manual on that. Take a screenshot. But it was getting good there because I was thinking that, like, when I was stopped by the wall, that, like, people were coming after me at, like, 50 and 60 miles an hour. I couldn't do anything at 50 and 60 miles an hour. That's why I kept hitting the wall. <laughs> 
Ugh, my handling was shot. I was hoping yeah, to get. I, I thought I'd yeah. have enough room to maneuver around and turn, but uh, it was tight. Yeah. Yeah, you so you would have had it, but you you skid it. Yeah. That's skidding. Once you get the skidding, and your handling oh. status goes down. Oh, rough. So Eric, I'm gonna give you the, the honors if you click on your uh, car and go Control W. Okay. You just change your is it doesn't it's not much of a difference for you, but your vehicle is now a wreck counter, and I'll do the same for me. <laughs> and now I'll take a screenshot. Well, there you go. Daniel is the winner. Congrats. That was I used my drunken monkey driving style. <laughs> Deceiving. <laughs> See, I was really you know, like, let's not worry about that guy driving straight to the wall. <laughs> Well, I was really hoping that you guys were going to trade shots back and forth and actually, like, hurt. Like, you had a chance to, to kill Daniel when you shot him in the front, but you missed. Or into the side. And, uh, I know. Uh, so I, I, got, was... I got lucky there a couple of times with, with the shots at me. For <laughs> certain. Yeah. So, because I was hoping, because I was originally going to go for, for Dan... But I said, no, you caused me to go into a spin and almost killed me that time. So I just... had it coming to us. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's it. Well, thanks for uh, teaching us the game, uh, JC. That was that was fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's the the big the big thing for this game for a lot of the people who have all the books is you get to design your own vehicles. So. And you can make anything. Pick up trucks and vans and rigs and trikes and everything. But you, and there's lasers and there's like machine guns and rocket fire and all that stuff. So Ice cream trucks. Ice cream. Everything. <laughs> you name it, it's there, right? So explosive bumpers. Like you can ram into someone and you can have like suicide bombs on your car and they'll blow up. All types of wonderful things. Sweet. Oh, it's crazy. Cow catchers. <laughs> they do. Ram plates. Uh, my favorite, what I do, uh, you have an option to conceal your vehicle, your weapons on your vehicle, right? So whenever I build a car, I build in the concealment option. So no one ever knows what vehicles I have, what weapons I have until I, until I choose to fire. <laughs> right? So I may have like a flamethrower or a laser or something crazy, right? Anti-tank guns. probably go for a rig and run people over. Uh, the next the next time I play this, I'm going to do a road duel, which is a long straight line and just keeps repeating itself, and there's curves and stuff in the... In the uh, and I'm going to have it like a Mad Max-style game, where I'm going to have a bunch of people against, like, two teams, and one team is chasing the other team. That, that sounds fun. I hope, uh, hope more people sign up. Enough for two two big teams. You're, you're leaving for work next week, aren't you? Oh, well, no, I'm, yeah, I'm leaving on Tuesday. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to be gone for over a month. Oh, my. We're doing I, – I wasn't going to – I was going to go, then I wasn't going to go, then I then I told I was. And it kept changing back and forth. And uh, last week they told me I was going – and then Tuesday they changed their mind and said I wasn't going. And then they just called me up there on Thursday and said I was going type of thing. So So it's been a little so, ridiculous. Yeah, you're going to miss all, all summer. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in the middle of the ocean going over to the UK being towed. Oh. So her, no internet, hardly any internet really. It's going to be like basic emails only I think. But anyway, well, guys, uh, in this game, we've had one car catch fire, roll, and explode, which is classic. We had a, a collision, which is classic, and everybody hit something. <laughs> yeah, we got to experience uh, 
everything. The almost. full, <laughs> the full gamut. Yep. <laughs> but uh, one of the things I want to do is, I'll keep track of all the all the people playing and their stats. But I'll give what I'm going to do is characters that survive. Say if you play like Eric. Say if you played. Uh, so Dan, you want you live tonight, so. I may, what I'm going to start doing is the next time you play, I'll give you, start giving you some points to put into your driver so you can make him a better driver or a better shooter or whatever. Oh, very nice. I would like to be a better driver. <laughs> <laughs> and that way, the more often you play, the better your character becomes. But if he gets killed, he, he starts over from scratch again. You know what I mean? Well, around me, no wall is safe. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Balls to the wall. <laughs> but this is Car Wars. This is this is the game. Very good. It was very enjoyable. Well, I, I'm glad. It's a little daunting. A lot of people look at it and say, "Oh, it's so hard." But you get one person who knows it; they just walk you through it. I mean, I think it's typical of you and the games that are very crunchy. <laughs> they are. They are crunchy. But for me, is not. It, I don't even look at it anymore as crunchy because I've been playing it for like twenty or thirty years or whatever. So pretty much all the rules are ingrained into my head anyway. So it's simple for me. Right. All right. Well, I'm uh, gonna get uh, started on some stuff. I've got a bunch of projects I'm working on, so I'm gonna start working on that. Eat a little bit. So I wish you guys a. Uh, well, good evening, good night, and uh, I'll see some of you soon. No problem, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, for joining in again. Thank you. All right, guys. You have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Channel switched. I would like to announce that uh, Dan McLaughlin was the winner of the Car Wars game tonight. He survived while everyone else was killed. <laughs> <laughs> If I don't know. Joined your channel. If I'd have known you guys were doing that, I'd have jumped in. Oh, you should have uh, checked the, the calendar. I saw it was on the calendar. I forgot about it. I probably would have jumped in too. We had uh, we had everything happen. We had uh, one car catch and flip. He, he rolled and caught fire and exploded, which is classic. Uh, a big T-bone collision where everyone involved was killed. And we had uh, Dan, who just drove crazily and managed to live somehow. <laughs> so, a bit, bit, bit of everything. Anyway, guys, I'm off. So, you guys have a good evening. All right. Good night. See ya. Yeah.